let's say we have a cube uh, let's say we have a blue cube and we want to find the volume we want to find the volume of this cube so we so we get our ruler so we get our ruler but it's not a very good ruler that's it this thing says one this thing says two and we say oh, about this side looks about two so the side length looks about two let's say meters so we estimate the volume is going to be side length cubed or two times two times two or eight cubic meters but obviously we weren't quite sure about this two meters so we aren't quite sure how close our volume is either but luckily by examining our ruler we we figure out we figure out our error our error in the side length s is about at n maximum at maximum plus or minus 0.1 meters so our our measurement said 2 meters but the actual length could be anywhere between 1.9 meters and 2.1 meters so it can be 2.05 and so obviously if the actual length was 2.1 the volume is not going to be 8 because it's 2.1 cubed so so now would we ask because error in x error in the side length is at maximum plus or minus 0 0.1 meters what is the maximum what is the maximum error in our volume using this one way to figure this out is by figuring out 2.1 cubed by figuring out 2.1 cubed and subtracting it from 8 and finding 1.9 cubed and subtracting it from 8 but we do not have our calculator we forgot to bring our calculator to this exciting exciting day exciting day of figuring out the volume of this of this cube so we this we don't we're too lazy we're too lazy to actually do 2.1 cubed by hand now what do we do well we can we can estimate instead of calculating it exactly we can estimate the maximum error in volume and how how can we do that we know v as a function of x is s cubed and we wish to we wish to approximate delta v now you maybe you're realizing it how can we approximate delta v using our differential of v or dv or v prime of s ds and what's v prime of s 3s squared so we know we know our our delta v is approximately 3s squared ds and our s was 2 so 3 2 squared times 0 0.01 was it 0 0.01? No, 0 0.1. So 0 0.1. So this is 3 times 2 time 2 squared times 0 0.1 gets us 1.2 cubic meters. So we know our maximum error in volume is about it is about 1.2 cubic meters, and it only took us few seconds, maybe more than few seconds, but but not a not a lot of long time to calculate 1.2 cubic meters. Now let's say we also wish to estimate we also wish to estimate the percent error in calculating the volume. What do we do now? We oh okay, let's let's make sure I mention this too. This is plus or minus 1.2 meters since this was plus or minus 0 0.1. Our percent error is going to be our our errors which is 1.2 divided by divided by our the volume that we got which was which was 8 and what's 1.2 divided by 8 where the same thing as 0 0.3 over 2 or 0 0.15 obviously plus or minus or 15 percent so differentials give you a quick way of estimating the percent error and the error in something that's that's arising because of error in something else without having us calculate something more difficult.